Chris, first of all, congratulations on your honor of being recognized by the SBA as a Small Business Person of the Year in New Jersey. It's an award you received last year for your hard work at your company. How did you get started? And, and tell us about some of the obstacles you faced along the way. Well, we got started. The business was started in 1997. Uh, my uncle had it 10 years before we took over. He retired in, in 2007, you know, and then we started uh, the Mama's Barbecue too. You know, we just had to change it over. So it was family-based business, you know. Uh, my uncle helped train us and everything, my mom's. And you know, it's just a family business with a family feel, you know. We've been on Springfield Avenue and Box Hall for almost 24 years now. So we just, you know, working hard. You were actually honored in part for your ability to expand the business and grow it. Um, how did you do that? How hard was that to do? Oh, well, that was, that, was, that was real hard. Like this menu we have here, we had the menu for like 24 years, but in the place where we was at before, previously 10, 10 years ago, well, 20 years ago, it, uh, it was like maybe 700 to 7, 750 square feet. And uh, it was rough. We had like maybe basically two, four fryers, one, one big oven and, and, and a pit. And, you know, so when we expand the business by the, by the help of the SBA, when we expanded the business, now we tripled our size of the location. Now we got 20. 22 square feet, a parking lot. We had curbside parking at the other place. And now we have two kitchens where we can cater and meet the demands of all our customers. How were you impacted during the pandemic and how did your business find resiliency to get through that? Well, well, basically we was, we was hit pretty hard because the time the pandemic hit, it's like coming off of, you know, our kind of slow season, you know, with all the holidays back to back. So, you know, we was always a, 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 a calling business, you know, cause we was takeout, but now we got a little more room, but we was hit hard with as though we didn't really know which way it was going to go. But I was, I was fortunate to be able to uh, keep, keep all my employees. And we was just, I was kind of worrying about how I was going to tweak their time and, you know, cut their hours down. But then, you know, uh, things had turned around and then I had got, you know, the help with the, S the SBA and the PPP. So I was able to not only keep all my employees, I was able to, you know, kind of hire a couple of part-time workers and, and I was able to keep all my employees employed during the pandemic, which was a great thing because we didn't know how it was going to go. That's great to hear. We, we love talking to business owners on this show because you can give great advice to other people who might dream of doing what you've done in terms of having a, a successful restaurant. What's the best advice that you can give to somebody who's looking to do what you did? Uh, the best advice I could give them is first, you have to make sure this is what you want to do and, and, and put, put your all into it. And also you have to know the business. If you, if you can't, what I'm saying is, if you can't prepare the meals yourself, it, it's really rough. Great advice, Chris. It's been a pleasure speaking with you and um, congratulations on your honors. And I thank you and it was a pleasure speaking to you too. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.